Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading, November 17th to the 23rd of 2019. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Aries. Off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. Number 14 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Temperance. This can be a Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Anywhere temperance is prevalent in a chart, yours or someone else's. This is to do, has to do with adjustments, blending, adapting, having patience, and compromising. It's tempering, tempering it's using your self-control, it's working in harmony with others, and it's compromise instead of battle. It's taking the middle path and never going to one extreme or the other, and it's having control over your own life. It's seeing both sides of the story and sharing control. You're adapting to situations with a clear mind and a calm heart. There's a need to have patience for events surrounding you as they play out. This is reflecting on your life, it's maturity. It's drawing in emotions and stop over and reacting to outside forces. It's contemplation and reflection on events, relationships, and work. And you can be the calming force in chaos. It is now possible to overcome addiction to substance, people, or relationships. And your obsession is passing. And order is being restored. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are, the, these are the subconscious influences that you are unaware of. Number 20 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, Judgment. This can be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is rising up. It's seeking new possibilities. This is rebirth. It's a spiritual awakening. It's a release and a review. It's new purpose and new plans, and now delays can be conquered by development of the spirit. It's an awakening and a renewal. Legal judgments will be in your favor. It's a change in the personal consciousness. It's coming to terms with yourself, or going down to rise up, a special moment in life, a change in a very important way. So rise up and seek new possibilities. This is a second chance, a second lease on life. It's being deeply inspired. It's like you're called. Being uplift, uplifted, awakened, reborn, summoned to a higher awareness. Being inspired with big ideas. It's a new phase, and you're rising above it all. And you're making adjustments. The temperance with the judgment card, this is renewal and reconciliation can also represent an icy calmness, and it's a good time to take a test. Test, And you're suppressing your emotions. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. The Eight of Swords, Aries, Air Energy. This is a card of uh, temporary restrictions, bondage, not seeing your way out, not seeing clearly. You feel stuck, restricted. You might be, uh, it could be a fear to move out of a situation. This is a limiting beliefs. It's being your own worst enemy because it's you that can change matters. You're feeling trapped, maybe making some excuses or using victim mentality. You'll need to use courage to think in a new way and cast off bonds and obligations. And in this situation at hand, unless you change habitual behavior, you'll not get any further. And when you dwell on wrong thoughts and ideas, it binds you from moving forward. This is, could be someone that dislikes their work, but they do it anyway. This is being afraid to make the wrong decision or confused about what to do. But there is a solution to every problem. Real freedom comes from inside your own spirit. You're feeling bound by circumstances, but you're not really confined. You only think you are, and that thinking makes it so. These are mind-force manacles, prisons of thoughts, doubts, re resentments, judgments, obsessions, and projections. 
You might feel frustrated or confined or stemmed in, stifled, hemmed in, blind possibilities. Your temperance with the aid of swords. This is most of our problems arise from our thoughts and fears. Sometimes it can represent addiction and also a communication in another language. Your fourth card, it's the future, the results, the outcome, and the resolution. As in the future position, any time there's a prediction, it can be a surprise. The Three of Wands, Aries, fire energy. Now this is someone's son in Aries, so this definitely is representing you. This is an expectation, it's waiting, it's something that's been set into motion, and you're in a holding pattern. Pattern. It's a realization of hope, yes, and your ship is coming in. It's working on already established patterns. Success is on the horizon. So act mature and responsible, and others will respond to you in a positive way. So use that confident attitude. These are things set into motion. There is expansion, and you're preparing for what is to come. This is foresight and long-term plans, and now there's no turning back. It's a bright future ahead, and it makes it a great time to let go of past hurts. This is, can represent foreign travel or long-distance travel, but growth is certain. This is a project that's about to be completed, and benefits will be reaped from enterprise. And even though something's been achieved, there's still some more to do yet, and your efforts will be rewarded. You're being hopeful and expanding your horizons. Temperance with the Three of Wands, this can represent the willpower to overcome addictions. It can be imports and exports and foreign correspondence or study. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because you're not sharing with others, and yet, and yet you are consciously aware of this. The Five of Wands, Aries. Fire energy. You're battling, struggling, trying to unify disparities. These are shifting vibrations. It can bring unrest and uncertainty. All fives are pivotal turning points. This is competition in social or career areas. It's new factors that come in that demand you change, adapt, and grow. You may need to put in more effort to keep what you've already gained. This can represent someone's Saturn being in Leo. This is a mediation with challenge and struggle, its petty obstacles and annoyances and short-term difficulties in communication, which, which once overcome can change things for the better. This can be conflicts, fighting. It can also be a building site, a workshop, carpenters and scaffolders, creative chaos, or competition of some sort, card of ordeals, tests, and lawsuits. This is a need to agree to disagree. It's someone that may be jealous or possessive. There are problems to solve, conflicts, petty hassles, arguments, clashing of personalities. This can represent differences of opinion. It's these differences that should be examined. It is from them that new ideas and interesting compromises emerge. But be wary of stubbornly holding on to an idea just for the sake of it. Tremendous power can be had when we join forces with that of others. The Temperance card with the Five of Wands. This is a mediation to solve conflicts or differences through compromise. The Eight of Swords with the Three of Wands. This is not yet seeing a return on an investment. The Eight of Swords with the Five of Wands represents self-doubt. And the Three of Wands with the Five of Wands is rudeness. It can also be wanting a new project. Here is your advice from the Oracle deck. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. Aries, you've got forest, which represents breathe. Forest. As we make our way across the meadow to the thicker parts of the forest, there's a subtle shift in the sensations in the body, one that might initially be barely perceptible, but soon it becomes undeniable. It's nearly impossible not to take deeper breaths, 
the richness of the forest oxygen given freely and generously from the trees, the standing ones, to us, is a natural exchange for the carbon dioxide we release every time we exhale. Further, the animals of the forest participate in this exchange as well in what is one of the most miraculous and remarkable collaborations between plants and animals that serve to help each other live and thrive. The ratio of this oxygen-carbon dioxide exchange has been in balance for a millennia, but it has been changing quite dramatically in the last several years as carbon dioxide levels have been rising. Yet there are many parts of the world where we can still enjoy the refreshing and revitalizing effects of an afternoon enjoying the sights and sounds and smells of a walk in the forest. Through prayer and action, we can express our gratitude to these tree beings for the many gifts they provide, not the least of which is contributing to the very air we breathe. Things are different after a walk in the forest. Air easier breathing is too shallow. Although it may feel natural, it is an unhealthy habit that causes this shortness of breath. When you subconsciously shorten your breath, no matter if this is habitual or triggered by some event or circumstance, it activates certain psychological signals that prepare your system for fight or flight. Another conditioned response to perceived danger is to hold your breath. This is your survival response, although it does not serve you to do so. So breathe. Inhale deeply, regardless of your concerns, worries, or problems. Then let it go. Next, allow yourself to breathe a little deeper and slower a few times. Remember that every breath you inhale is a gift, and every breath that you exhale is a gift. The forest is a clear reminder of how this works. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.